Yeah, there, there are better candidates for this procedure. Okay, so those, those are candidates that have larger prostates. So when I say larger, you know, let's, let's get a little bit of a reference here. So normal is up to 30 grams or cubic centimeters or milliliters. All those units are interchangeable. Um, and so, so, zero, so whatever to 30 grams is normal. Once you get above 30 grams, that's considered enlarged, right? So uh, in my mind, 30 to 50 is just mildly enlarged. And that, that group of patients can have a PAE. There's nothing wrong with it. But I also think there are other great procedures out there for those, those size prostates, such as uh, Resume or Urolift, um, aqua ablation. I mean, there's, there's a lot of, lot of options out there. Um, as you get larger, uh, 50 to 80, you still have a lot of options. All those procedures that I just said are still good. Uh, but PAE becomes... It's, it's better for those size prostates than compared to 30 to 50. So in other words, PAE is harder when, that, when the, the prostate is smaller like that. Um, when you get above 80, now you're at 80, 100 and above, there are a lot fewer options available from a urologic standpoint. Um, and that's where PAE really shines because as the prostate gets bigger, we tend to do better. We have better outcomes. Um, and so, and we have no maximum. I've done prostates as big as, believe it or not, 600 grams. So, you know, that's where PAE, I think, really has a great uh, place in the treatment algorithm. Um, additionally, when you have patients who can't undergo a surgical procedure for some reason, whether it's um, they're on anticoagulation and they can't come off, or they have surgical comorbidities that prevent um, anesthesia, uh, those type of things, then, um, you know, also that's, that's when PAE is, is, is a great option. 